Hi, right, what's up guys? It's your boy Dragon Age PD here. Today we are uh, making a tier list on uh, Mac Miller's music. Well, I'm being honest, there's like um, like 12 albums, mixtapes in there. There are way more than, than just 12. And there's a whole other bunch of songs that he has. But that I haven't listened to yet, so I'm just uh, throwing in the albums, mixtapes that I know. Alright, so before I'm gonna, you know, commence forth, I want to say that I like every bit of music that Mac Miller has. Sad that he's dead, RIP. But uh, yeah, I love every bit of music that he has. Obviously, there are some albums that I like more than the other. But still, I like every bit of music that he has. So, we're gonna start with Divine Feminine. Um, let's see. So, Divine Feminine is a pretty good album. It's basically... Yeah. I, I don't know what to say about it, to be honest. Well, I am gonna be honest is that I haven't listened to it a lot. There's one song of, of the album that I have listened to a lot. It's uh, Stay, or multiple I mean. Stay and Goddess, Fair and Nasty, something like that. Sexy, Fair and Nasty, I think. And the, the, those are pretty good songs. And I think also Dang is that in this album. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good song. You have Skin, which is also a pretty good song. But the one thing, it's not in every song, obviously, but in Stay, for example, and at the end he puts like sexual moaning in the song, and that kind of annoyed me. So I was like, nah. But still, I like the album, so I'm gonna put it on. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on B tier. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna place them, and if I'm when I place the next album. I'm um, not really happy about it. I'll be like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll replace them. So next one is going to be Life From Space. Life From Space is an actual good album. It's basically an album of live songs that he performed. And the live songs that he performed are Objects in the Mirror, which is in his album watching movies with the sound of which is this one it's a pretty depressing song but in in the life from space uh, it's actually a bit better he also performs sds somebody do something life and the star room and killing time and in killing time he he raps pretty fast it's pretty amazing a uh, bird call uh, he does that one live Watching movies, remember the question, objects in the mirror. Black Rush, Life, Earth, Exhale, Isle, Euphoria, which is also a song from uh, watching movies in the, with the sound of the question, which is from Macadelic, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put Life from Space at... I don't know, also a B. Uh, I haven't listened to it a lot, because I'm also kind of ranking it at how much I've actually listened to it. So next one, Best Day Ever. Uh, it's a pretty good album. Uh, like I said, this one I haven't listened to it a lot. It, it has uh, probably the best song on that album, in my opinion, is um, Best Day Ever. Oh, no, I don't want to... Alright, never mind, never mind. But yeah, that's... Uh, I'll, I'll put it on B tier too. Now, Blue Slide Park is uh, actually a pretty good album? Or is it a mixtape? I don't know. It's kind of weird, because I have this... This uh, this uh, big file with a lot of his disco reverie in it. And it says that it's a um, mixtape in there. Or a, a album that faces as an album, while faces as a mixtape. So Blue Slide Park has 
pretty good songs like Blue Slide Park, Frick Park Market, Off the Shore. Well, I find those pretty good, by the way. Up All Night, Loitering, Hole in My Pocket, Diamond and Gold, Man in the Head, One Last Thing. It's a pretty good album, in my opinion. Or mix it. So I'm going to put it on B tier 2. Delusional Thomas. I've listened to this once. I liked it. And I don't have much to say about it. It's, it's, he's kind of like Eminem. Uh, well, uh, it's not an actual comparison, by the way. Don't get mad at me. But he's like Eminem. He has these different projects. Where he's a different persona, I guess. So here you have Delusional Thomas. You have Larry Lustin. There's also... Larry Fisherman, if I'm correct. So yeah. So I'm going to put Delusional Thomas at C. It's good, but obviously I'm also rating it at how much I've listened to it. And how much it, obviously, if I've listened to it a lot, obviously the album or mixtape gave me that urge. So it has to be really good. Um, good AM. I'm going to put Good AM at, I've, at A tier, I think. Yeah, A tier. It's a really fucking good album. It has some some great songs, like uh, 100, 100 Grandkids, um, Two Matches, Doors, which is the intro of this of the album. Rush Hour is pretty good brand name. Time Flies, We Can't, um, Break the Law, ROS, Ascension. Jump, the festival, the whole album is pretty good in my opinion. Oh yeah, and I for, I forget the best song of it in my opinion. It's um, where's Perfect Circle Godspeed? That's such a good fucking song. It's pretty long. It's like eight minutes or seven minutes, but it's so worth listening to. Uh, Circles, S tier, no doubt, S tier. It's uh, one of his best albums. And it has great songs like Circles. Um, uh, what what else? Uh, Hand me downs, hands, uh, woods, complications, blue world, good news. I can see everybody. Right, uh, float. Pretty much every song is really good at that album. Uh, watching movies with the sound of A tier. No doubt A tier. It's really good. Also, I I'm moving Blue Slide Park. Because I've actually listened to it a lot. And I really like it a lot. And I'm moving Good AM. I I'm, I'm rethinking. I'm moving Good AM to S tier because it's really fucking good. It's also one of his best albums, actually. Macadelic. So Macadelic is actually the album. Because before Macadelic, he kind of made songs where he sounded really happy and shit. He's, he still did. But in Macadelic, he made a major switch with uh, songs, with his style. Or whatever. And he, he had some great songs like Vitamins. Um... The question, fight the feeling, uh, which also has sexual mourning at the end, which is to me a bit of a, uh, but still, I don't care. Um, what else was there on uh, Macadelic? There was Desperado, which has a very nice guitar solo at the beginning, or guitar intro, but the original guitar thing uh, is a bit better, but I still like this one. Um... There is, there is, let me see, Loud is pretty good, Look, uh, The Morning After is also f great, um, yeah, it's pretty decent, I'll put it on, um, on A tier. I've listened to it quite a lot too, it's quite enjoyable. Swimming is, in my opinion, his best album. It's the first... I got a nice story about that one, actually. So, I was in an internship job at 
uh, at the course administration that I did. And uh, the, this company that I did the internship for was pretty much only Turkish people. And the man that guided me was Dutch, like me. And he, just like me, he listened to rap music. Still does. And so I was just, I think, sorting some files, either physically or on the computer. And he like said, hey, Pim. I was like, yo, maybe not like that. But yeah, you, you get me. And he said like, yo, have you ever uh, listened to Black Miller? And I was like, uh, no, I actually haven't. And he was like, yo, uh, yeah, it's, he's pretty good. Sadly, because it was a month or the same month that he died. He said he died. And I was like, oh yeah, that guy. And he said, yeah, you should go check one of his songs out. I immediately did. And I immediately did. And the first song I came across of him, because I'm pretty sure it was also like, obviously it was his most recent album because Circles was post posthumous. His posthumous album. Uh, so yes, Self Care was the first song I've ever listened to him. It's also my favorite song of him. And I gotta say, bro, uh, that song was the first ever song to make me listen to it the whole uh, day that I worked there. Which is eight hours. So I listened to the same song for eight hours. Bro, that was crazy. I'm still happy that he recommended Mac Miller to me. But yeah, that's why it's on S tier. So, Faces is in my opinion, and this is something different because this is his music work, is his best piece of music, in my opinion. It's great. It has great songs like Inside Outside, Friends, um, Angel Dust, which is a fantastic song. Uh, uh, Ave Maria. Uh, uh, funeral, The Wedding. Uh, polo Jeans. And, and, and more, bro. And more. It's so great. And I next thing. You. Uh, I'm going to put it on B tier. I haven't listened to it a lot, but it's really good. And his song, You, it's like, well, from what I know, really different from his other shit. It's like actual, I don't know. He actually sings in it. And I like it a lot. That mixtape. If it's even a mixtape. But yeah, this is my tier list. Obviously, there's way more on this. Well, he has way more shit, like... The High Life, uh, But My Macking Ain't Easy. Uh, m more and more, you know. There's too much for me to think of right now. But he has so much music. And, uh, and I haven't even listened to all of it. This is pretty much all I've listened to from him. Oh shit, I forgot his uh, mixtape kits. Shit. Yeah, well, that's, that's an easy A tier. That's no doubt an A tier album. So I'm sorry that I forgot kids, because I've listened to that one too. Really good with the songs outside, um, kids, uh, get them up, and more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. It's a bit shorter than my other tier list, but obviously that's because I ha didn't have that much items to put in a tier list. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.